Glenn was walking in the woods one day, very happy, and he came across a cave. Ooh, that looks so interesting. He decided to enter the cave and see what it was. Glenn was wandering around the cave, minding his own business, when suddenly he tripped. Oh no! He lost balance and fell into the water flow. The flow carried Glenn off. He looked scared. In a minute, he fell down into a deep underground river. The force of the waterfall created a reversed current, so Glenn couldn't swim out of it. He's getting exhausted and might drown soon. What should he do to survive? Okay guys, option one, collect all his force and swim out of the current. Two, dive down as deep as possible. Or three, he should swim to the side and climb up the wall. What should he do to survive? Let's help Glenn get out of the river and into safety. Okay, so here, no. The current will pull Glenn's body backward. The current won't be less strong there. He's already exhausted and he won't be able to reach the wall or climb the wall. The force of the current is less when you go down. Glenn should swim forward when he's underwater and get away from the waterfall as far as possible. Can you spot the killer? Boom. Look at the guy on the right. How did he die? Can you find the killer? The first one's pretty easy, guys. Bullet wound and gun in the popcorn. All right, next riddle, please. Okay, look at these dancers. Dancing, dancing. Uh-oh. One of them is dead. Can you spot the killer? I think I can see a clue. She's been strangled, and this girl's missing her hair bow. Alright, in the lab, someone's gonna die for sure. Oh, poor guy. Alright guys, can you spot the killer? Take a look, how did he die? And then, let's see who's the culprit. I've got my idea. Looks like he's burnt. And this guy has some burning hot liquid. That was a good one. Okay, ooh, a fancy party. Oh no, the guy in black. He's dead. How did he die? I bet it wasn't that space robot girl. Let's see. <gasps> He died of poisoning, and this girl, she poisoned him. Alright guys, it's come to the last riddle. Oh no, the girl's dead. Can you spot the killer? Look at her neck. Which of these guys can scratch with three claws? Write to us in the comments, let us know your ideas. The answer's at the end of the video. Howard was driving home one night on the highway. After visiting his granny. Oh, look at that cute little grandma. The grandma lived in a very remote village. Soon he saw a terrible traffic jam ahead. Let's see how many cars it was. A four-car pileup was blocking all the lanes. He couldn't get through. Howard was really tired and didn't want to wait. Plus it's remote, right? So he decided to take some kind of a shortcut. 
But soon he fell asleep while he was driving and he crashed into a big rock. Ay, Howard got injured and he couldn't move his legs, he couldn't walk. He wanted to call 911 but his phone died. Big problems for this guy. The night was dark and it was freezing cold. Howard found some stuff in his trunk. Ah, there's a lot of stuff. There was a red blanket. He could keep warm with that. There was a spare tire. There was a knife. Ooh, maybe that's useful. There was an air freshener. Probably not that useful. A lighter. Yeah, that's cool. There was some spray paint. Mm -hmm. So guys, which two items should he use to let people know about his location? What do people do like when they're lost at sea or something? The tire and the lighter. He should burn the tire. He can use the lighter to light the tire. It'll produce some thick smoke visible from miles and miles away. George is a fancy, fancy time traveler. Look at his time travel machine. Looks nice. Today, his time travel machine's taken him, any guesses? To a medieval castle. Cool, back in time. Oh, it looks so fancy. George entered the gates, entered the castle, and got into a richly decorated chamber. Oh, look at those swords, that's awesome. With full suits of knight armor in every corner. George took several pictures and decided to get out of there. Yeah, it could be dangerous, right? And it is. There were two doors in front of him. But guys, each of them was guarded. There were hungry lions that hadn't eaten for five days. Oh man, those guys are hungry. And there was a fierce knight who would absolutely attack and kill any person without the castle emblem on. That sounds tricky. How can George escape? Guys, sometimes we need brains, not muscles, right? Check it out. George should put on one of the sets of armor that has the emblem on it. And then he can just go through the second door, no problem. Who's planning to kidnap? Guys, one of these two ladies is about to kidnap a baby. Can you help us to figure out who it is? I can see a clue. She's dressed and she's ready to run away. Alright, what about this one? Who's planning to kidnap? Which grandma is planning to kidnap those boys? So we got some cheese. That's probably not it. Look at the other lady's bag. She's got handcuffs and a passport. She's definitely gonna kidnap. All right, next one. The kids are saying, I have a sore throat. One lady says, I'll help you. And the other one says, don't lie to me. You have your math test today. Who's planning to kidnap? Yeah, guys, she just has a sore throat. She doesn't need injections. All right, in the park. One guy says, I have a PlayStation. Do you want to go home and try it? And the other guy, the guy in yellow, says, Let's have a snack at the cafe just around the corner. Who's planning to kidnap? Tell you what, guys. Write to us in the comments, and I'll tell you at the end of this video. Just keep watching. Alright, guys, here it is. The answer from the other video. Remember, she was scratched with three claws. Who has three claws? A werewolf has three claws. And now, the answer to the kidnap video.
Look at this guy, he's got a rope! Ready to kidnap. Okay guys, one extra little riddle for you. Who will survive? The little girl who's trapped in a huge box of gummy bears? Mmm, yummy. Or this poor girl, she's trapped in marshmallows. Marshmallows or gummy bears? What a delicious way to die. Mmm. So guys, they're both pretty difficult to escape from, but the gummy bears, they're hard. So it'll be easier to crawl out of the box. 